Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying another Shepherd Neem uh, beer, uh, and I really like this brewery, and it's their India Pale Ale. And for some reason, I've only just realised that it's an India Pale Ale, not Indian Pale Ale. I don't know what I've been doing. Okay, so on the front of this really sort of traditional style label, which I really like, uh, it does say Britain's oldest brewer, uh, been brewing since 1698. Uh, and it's a really nice design bottle, a little bit different to the others I've had. I mean, I've had their Spitfire and their Gold. Um, and this one's just, a, I said, it's a little bit more traditional. It's got a really nice sort of end cap, and I'll put a close-up. Um, normally they have a Shepherd's Crook, um, but this is a little sort of, you know, um, Shepherd and Neem, Faversham, Kent. Um, waffling now, let's get this one open. So this is a 6.1, 500ml bottle. Um... Mm. So it says, there's some little notes on the back that says it's quite highly hopped and that the hop oils in the hops helped preserve the beer when it was transported overseas. So, concentration on the pour there. Come on, don't overspill at the head. Fantastic, okay. So, we have a lovely toffee coloured, that's my new word now. That's the new word. New word, yeah. <laughs> Crystal clear. Because I would say chestnut. Toffee coloured, light carbonation. You'd say chestnut, I'm <laughs> saying toffee. Creamy coloured head. Okay, sort of staying around. Let's get the nose. It's really fresh, sort of, a bit of lemon there. Quite malty, as you'd expect, but really sort of fresh. Mmm, sort of uh, freshness you sort of get with a lager, but that's quite interesting. Okay, cheers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this could well be my per perfect beer. So the mouthfeel is absolutely fantastic. That bitterness just washes around the entire mouth. But it's lovely and it sort of fades to sort of like a biscuit malt on the back end. Um, or at least it does for me. So it's not overly bitter but just, oh. Not a grapefruit in sight. Well, not a grapefruit in sight, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so a little bit fruity. Sort of um, oh, Dundee cake. Like a Dundee cake. I was going to say like a, a Christmas cake, but no, like a Dundee cake. Big flavour notes there. That is really fantastic. And I'm wondering if the higher alcohol, it's a 6.1. I'm wondering if that higher alcohol content is carrying those flavours. That is bloody lovely. Okay, so let's just have a look on the back and see if my, uh, or what I'm getting is what they tell me I should be getting. Okay. Look, he's rich and golden. Oh, toffee. Um, hoppy, fruity, spicy smell. Well, just a really sort of refreshing, just a little bit of lemon there for me. Which I suppose is the fruity element to it. Bitter, hoppy and malty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I've been really impressed with all the Shepherd and Neem beers. And they're rapidly becoming one of my favourites. Um, and I can highly recommend this. Um, I don't know how widely available this is. I think I found it in uh, Aldi as part of their beer, correct L me if I'm I didn't find it in Aldi at all, I found it, it in Lidl as beer. part of their beer. Um, have they got a beer festival? Yes, it was the last couple of weeks, wasn't it? Possibly. <laughs> this is bloody good. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yes, wonderful. Oh, well, this is really, really good. It's very Moorish. Really Moorish. Yes. 
Lidl, one fifty five a bottle. One fifty five for one fifty five. That is absolutely banging, absolutely banging. I mean, it should be Shepherd and Neem stuff is, is 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 usually widely available, so you should be able to track it down. And I can highly recommend this. This is a bloody good pint. Cheers.